Amor. Hi everybody, I'm Chaco Lemon Ra. And uh it's the third part series. And about religion. And also I'm gonna combine a little bit about religion. I'm not gonna tell you not to go to religion. I'm gonna tell you to see for yourself. I'm gonna tell you to understand for yourself. That's what I'm gonna tell you. I, I want you to understand for yourself. Because if you do it yourself, you will be able to see and hear clearly. I'm not gonna try to discourage you to, to not to join any religion or any institution. That's not what it's about. What I'm, what, what I'm about. I'm about spirituality. I'll give you a push. I'm just a messenger. Just giving you a push. I come from religion. That's my background. I'm 50 years old. So I have that experience. Be careful when you come at me with that Bible scriptures. Because <laughs> I got plenty of them. Alright? You can challenge me if you want to. But I tell you what. When you challenge me, I'm going to tell you this. If some of you would do that. And I have people that have challenged me. Um, when you do challenge, open your mind, because I'm not coming at you saying that you're right or wrong, but when I can tell when a brother or sister do not want to try to engage in something new, because the melanin race has been traveling on the whole entire planet thousands of years before any of the any other um, culture even is existence. The melanated means black people. And from that point, black people was the original people who started whatever spiritual system. Okay? Like a lot of you wear crosses. The cross is not a bad thing. The cross literally means peace. Look it up. Okay? I don't wear them no more like I used to because I wear the unk. I understand the representation what the unk means. It's life. It's dealing with the woman's. It's dealing with her womb, her ovaries. It's dealing with how life is formed into her womb. That no man or woman can come through her canal without her. No man can no produce, no baby. Only the woman. The reason why she was worshipped as a god on earth. You take that literally and you begin to think you're being blasphemy. No, we're not. It's the truth. It's the truth. You got all these stories. And I'm going to make the quick story. Adam is supposed to be first on the planet. No other human being on the planet. They never tell you Adam was a black man, but it showed you if this religion did to you. Religion showed you Adam was a white man. Atom. A-D-A-M. But then there's another Atom. A-T-O-M. Atom. Pay attention. Religion have done these things to you. Now, according to the scriptures, Adam was on the planet by himself. He was walking around. He seen 
that these animals that he was naming, according to the scriptures, according to the story, I better put it that way. Because when I read the scripture, it really doesn't tell you about Adam walking around naming the animals. <laughs> and the Jehovah's Witness tells you that. They tell you some of the um, pamphlets they got. So, if I go to the beginning of the scripture, you think it's going to tell me about Adam is naming some of the animals? It's a possibility. But I don't have time for that. I'm just going to give you this quick story real quick. You do your research like that. But what I'm going to say is this. Adam's supposed to be white because this is the image they put. Adam needed a wife. God told him to go to sleep. Took a rib out. Formed the woman. Right? Now. So. There was no birth. Between this man. Who's come from the dust. Right? Listen to what I'm about to tell you. The man comes from the ground, the dust. But in other civilizations, man was came from clay. Huh? Man came from clay from Egypt, the Egyptians, the Babylonians, the Sumerians. Man came from clay. Hmm? You don't get deep in that because you're going to do your own research. But to stay with Christianity's religion. So. According to them, man came from dust. According to them, the woman came from the man's rib. So, should all men be missing a rib? Mm. I can say it if I want. But that's just a theory. Two, Eve, now, this is her name now, because Adam named her Eve, meaning woman. Mm. So, this is Eve, but the Bible tells you there was a woman before Eve called Lilith. Lilith. So, in certain book, historian history, Lilith was here before Eve because Lilith didn't want to submit to man. According to the story. So, Lither became evil. This is why when you have wet dreams and you see a woman supposed to be having sex with you in your dreams. According to the story. Now let's get to Eve. God created Eve according to the story. Red. Now, I know I mixed it up a little bit, but even the rib. But it took Adam and Eve to combine and have sex to form the first birth. The first birth on the planet. But the, and before that, there was no birth. The man was made from the ground and the woman was made from the man's rib. Then the conception, the man and woman got together and made the first birth. Now I'm not saying that God can't do that. No. But that story it's a little shaky. But religion can do that to you. I want you to get this book. The Zondervan Illustrated Bible Dic Dictionary. Even though some of these books are white people, they wrote the book, put the book together, so on and so forth. Right? You know the reason why I use it to a certain degree? Because you can use it to contradict them. Hmm? You could use the Bible to contradict. You can use it to help yourself, too. Okay? Literally. Information. Information. Infamous information. Hmm? Because they show you 
black people. Hmm? Accurate. What do you see there? Black people. <laughs> huh? Artistic, artistic representation of the Persian god at the Sosa Palace where Esther lived. Persian. Persian. The artistic. Damn, they dark. Hmm? But the Persian they be showing you on TV. Pale looking. I just want to show you that. To get the books like that. This is supposed to be the most accurate and comprehensive one volume Bible dictionary available. Accurate. I did that for a reason. You can see the Sum Sumerians. I think that's maybe the Sumerians right there. Yeah, but anyway. I did that, I needed to show you that. I want you to understand about religion. It's a superpower. It controls. All people. And those who use it and master its skill can use it and get rich. If you think that is not possible, you are fooling yourself. Now I'm going to use Jehovah's Witness for a stepping stone. Because if you begin to understand the Jehovah's Witness, and they false doctrine, talking about they can predict when Jesus is coming. When Jesus' name was 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 created in, 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 in three, three, 325 B.C., not B.C., A.D., at the Council of Nyssa. And Constantine was there. He wanted to, he wanted, I think it was 2000, and, I think 2,500, 2008, um, bishops. But only 1,800 bishops came because he was going to murder the rest of them because he knew that he did not agree with what he was about to do. So it was a setup to kill all these black bishops and whoever white bishops they had that disagreed with the Roman Empire. You could do your research. And then you'll thank me later. Control. You control the population. You use religion. Religion will it will suck you up and put you in a place. And you will walk around here like you holy and foul. Some of you truly do that. Oh, not I. Some of you walk around here, you 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 into all kinds of things. You into all kind of things. And you want to, I'm holy and beyond religion. Some of you just outrageous. Outrageously crazy. Get this document here. I will need you to get it. This by my boy, Naritashi. The Religion of the White Supremacy. I have showed you all this plenty of times. I'm going to show you again, but not now. But I want you to get this documentary. The Hidden Colors for the Religion of White Supremacy. You will understand the conception of what it really is all about. It's an economic powerhouse to control you and put you in your place. They've been feeding off the black man, the melanated man, for hundreds of years. Because when a lot of these religious organizations, hold on, religion, I showed you before, when a lot of these religious groups 
started. Where you think they got the money from? From their own people. Right? Religious groups, y'all. Look at this religion. They created the religion that so many of you follow today. The course these men are dead. They're long gone. Where was their predecessor? And now their religious groups have expanded. But in the beginning, these groups did not have any black people. None of them. I will read them off to you. William Miller, before the evil Jehovah's Witness, he was from one of the beginning, 1863, Seventh Day Activist. Seventh Day Activist Religion, 1863. Huh? Charles T. Russell, Williams and Miller was together before he created Jehovah's Witnesses in 1872. Joseph Smith created the Mormon religion, 1830. Where were the black people? No black people was in none of these organizations. I'm not done. Charles Perham created the Pentecostal religious 1901. You know, they got Pentecostal there. So I'm in the Pentecostal. Do you have to do your research and understand where this comes from? You think because a black man took the name Pentecostal and then he built his church up and got over three, four, five hundred members, all of a sudden that's just strictly, well, that's a black owned church. Is it white bank owned? Is it backed up by a black owned bank? Most likely, no. Joseph Smith created the Baptist religion, 1608, which he's one of the oldest, the oldest religion group that was created, 1608. Hmm? 400 and something years. They have not been around 500 years. They have not. These men who created this religion, these different religions, these different institutions, have not been around for 500 years. Of course, through time, they had to um, create and to be able to survive, to be able to blend in with modern society. Huh? You think modern society would agree with these men? Huh? Charles Dash... Charles T. Dash, Russell, talking about his people. Well, actually, it was William Miller. You started off with his organization talking about they had an insight that Jesus was coming. Visibility, visible, meaning eyesight, was coming in the 1800s. When that failed, then they had another vision in the 1800s that he will come invisible. Invisible. So now they can dictate it and control. They still ain't have no black people. Huh? Now their organization is huge. And you should hear some of the black people. Let it to Oh, the organization is worldwide. Of course it's worldwide. You giving them fear? Fear of hell. That organization was based on fear. I've showed y'all in part two, M1, telling the people, we are the witnesses. You join us. So we will be the witness of Armageddon. We will survive and watch the witness. We'll be witnesses. It wasn't even called that. It was called Zion Watchtower. So from Zion Watchtower, the Jehovah's Witnesses. The word Jehovah wasn't even in existence. Go to the Hebrew text or any Hebrew brother tell you one thing you got to understand. The letter J wasn't in existence. God's name was Yahweh or Ra, R-A or the Creator. 
That's who I call the creator, the unknown. But the unknown is the creator because you live on this planet that is a rock. That is three rocks from the sun. Get my point? Religion had messed you up. They would tell you spirituality, you don't want to get into that voodooism, that Hinduism, that Buddhism. They don't want you to do that because that stems from Africa. I gave you evidence. I gave you evidence. I told you to get the book, The Kodak Game Is Over. Huh? I showed you. Hmm? I showed you. Hmm? I told you to get the hidden colors. The reason why about the religion of the white supremacy. Hmm? The only reason why your Jehovah's Witnesses is a lot of these white religious church or churches now. They survive through black people. Because black people love the creator. They do. I am chocolate almond around. Now, I can sit up here and Say what you want. You can sit up here and don't believe. That's all on you. I'm just a messenger. And um, I want to help you. If some of y'all are into your Jehovah's Witness and any other religion, that's okay. So... Into a tea. And um, I just want to tell you be careful. Be careful because religion can destroy you, whether you like it or not. Showed you the Persians what they look like. I just gave you a small, a small little detail. I read three different Bibles, two different Bibles. I showed you that, and I wanted to show you. I'm chocolate almond Ra. Peace. Till the next time.